the comics that came out this evening. Warm round of applause. Come on, come on. Make your way forward. Make your way forward. If you're on the other side, hey, uh, if you're on the other side of that uh, pie over there, you agree with Kanye is what you're fucking telling me. Uh, all right, everybody. I'm thrilled to bring our last comic up. Let's please give a warm Sunday punchline welcome to Mr. Evelyn Schaffron. All right, you guys, I appreciate you guys. I know you, not one of you moved, so you're really good at taking orders. You guys would have been terrible Nazis. Um, so, yeah. So I guess we're just gonna do the whole uh, Jew thing tonight. I, I think, is that, am I the only one left here, too? I think the only other girl got scared up by the guy screaming Hitler earlier. But uh, yeah, we just went for it over there. Uh, I don't know where he went, he's still here? He's still here, yeah, he's back there. Don't worry, we'll, we're gonna replace you, I promise we will. No, no, we will. I mean, that's what we do. We're the chosen ones. They chose, we didn't get, we didn't choose this, okay? This wasn't the life that we chose, like Jay-Z says. It's the life that chose us. I mean, I, I, nobody made us do this. We were born this way. It's not my fault we're really good at everything. We run things really well. Uh, the weather, yes, don't tell, why did you tell everybody? It's fucked up. Now everybody knows. My dad already gets pissed when I touch the thermostat in the first place. Jesus, fuck. I gotta turn this shit down now. Everyone is on to us. The wildfires, we did that too. The, the space laser, I literally bent over. I, I dropped my joint. My ass hit the fucking laser. Psh, all the fucking wildfires in LA. I'm sorry. Space lasers are very touchy, guys. Just they're really, really touchy. Um, I'm going to sit down on this stool. Stool is an interesting word that uh, Jewish grandmothers had for your poop. Um, I don't know why we call it stool. Um, it's, it should be called uh, uh, ouch, ouchies. Uh, you guys like to fly? Do you ever uh, go up in the plane and uh, join the Mile High Club? No, sir. No? Never? No. I joined the, uh, the Half a Mile High Club. Uh, I, I think it counts. Um, sometimes you just gotta rub one out in the air. One time I thought, <laughs> one time I thought I was gonna die on an airplane. It got a little turbulent at the end, and I said, "Fuck it, it might be the last time." So I just went in the bathroom and uh, rubbed one out. It was fine. Um, so that one ended fine. I did have my my ex has uh, told me this story. Her brother uh, was at 9/11. Um, decided to go rub one out as the towers were going into the ground. He was a student, that's very true. He was a student and uh, he, yeah, I, you can't make this shit up. Uh, he was a student, he decided, he's watching these things go down. He didn't know what was gonna happen. He thought maybe another one was gonna hit him. So he just decided that he would rub one out over his bed and then um, he was pulled out by security as they did one last check of the building to make sure everyone was safe. Um, but you know, it, it's true. He, he wasn't Jewish, because we're, we're smarter than that. Um, we know the right place in time. Why is it all right for, why is it like super hot of a couple's in the park, they're having sex? Like you're like, oh, look at that beautiful couple over there. Oh, oh they, they really love each other. Wow, that's some serious PDA. But if I'm over here, and I'm just jacking off privately to myself in the corner in the park, why is that unacceptable? I, that's what I said to the officer. I still got the ticket. I, whatever. I'm fighting it in court. Um, I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. I never get caught. I know. I know. It's, I never get caught. Uh, I'm really good at it. Uh, I did get caught one time having sex in college um, in a, a classroom, um, but uh, I just said it was sex ed, and the guy the guy left. Um, somebody got that one. Um, but yeah, we, we run uh, a lot of things. Um, we like to run our mouths, uh, if you guys haven't noticed. We're very sarcastic. Um, maybe you picked up on it, or maybe you didn't. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Did you? Did you pick up on it? Because, uh, yeah. What, it's really interesting. That I just don't understand why um, black people don't understand that Hitler killed them too? It's not like he, he, Hitler wasn't like standing in the corner being like, uh, hey, uh, hey, black guys, uh, you guys see those Jews? Fuck those guys, right? Am I right? 
And the black guys are like, yeah, yeah, fuck the Jews, fuck the Jews. And then Hitler was like, cool, high five. Later, see you in, I'll see you on the Alex Jones show in 60 years. No, that's not what happened. No, no, he killed everybody that wasn't blonde hair and blue eyes. So I, I don't know what Kanye is doing with the hood on either. Uh, maybe wrong color, maybe he's colorblind or dyslexic. I don't know, it's supposed to be a white hood, not sure. But all I know is that, um, you know, all of the lights, that was my favorite Hanukkah song. It's not anymore. Yeah. Uh, all the lights was, you know, Gold Digger, we love that one too. Yeah, we did. The Jews love Gold Digger. Um, but uh, I want Alex and Kanye to start the, the, the broke billionaire boys club. Uh, I think it would be really cool. Um, Jay-Z could, could be in there just making fun of them. Um, Def, the Def Con 3 comedy jam, I think that would be a good one. Um, that would be cool. Just a bunch of, uh, it would be like a, 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 a battle between black and Jewish comedians, but they would have to be um, Ethiopian Jews because that, that otherwise we're not gonna battle each other. Um, a lot of people don't know that reggae music, um, you can thank the Jews for that. So um, it's true, came down, they came down from Ethiopia, they got taken on slave ships to Jamaica, and if, if the Jews didn't kick that tribe out of Israel, then they wouldn't have been taken from Ethiopia to Jamaica, and we wouldn't have reggae music. It's a true story. Uh, look it up if you don't believe me. Khalil Selassie, I, Lost Tribes of Israel. So they, they do have part of the story, right? They are Jews too, but uh, what I don't understand is why, why they, they don't understand that they're Jews, that we're also Jews, because we all descended from the same place. There was like, I'm not an Adam and Eve guy, but I am a you know Darwin guy. There were a couple of us, we were all inbred, we all fucked each other, and then those cousins fucked those cousins. Eventually, we spread out over the world, but but, you know, Jews are a disease. I, I will say that, we are a disease. Can't get rid of us. The guilt is just terrible. We won't, if you try to tell us to leave, we won't. And we'll make you feel bad if you didn't invite us. Um, so, but anyway, I, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like, how, how are people not confused by this whole situation? It's, it's moronic. Like, we're all the fucking same. We're all the same. We all poop, we all pee, we all come out of vaginas. We all masturbate when we can, we all fuck when we can. We like to eat, drink water, okay? We're all the same. Some of us are better looking than others, okay? Like there's a bunch of beautiful people here. You notice we never say, oh wow, look at all these amazingly ugly people here tonight. There's a lot. We never, we're always like, that's a beautiful couple over there. And we're never like, man, wow, that's a fucking, ugh. you guys are definitely the ugliest couple of the year. We don't do that. Very odd. Uh, we decided it's okay to give compliments, but not say the bad things that we're all thinking all the time. Um, Jews are good for that, though. We'll say what we're thinking. Um, we take we take lots of uh, well, yeah. Like you were saying about Pete Davidson, same size. I'm I'm a ten incher as well. Um, he's definitely pissed about Kanye. You know, Kanye's pissed. He fucked his wife. Kardashian. I don't fuck around with the, the Kardashian Jews. I call them though. They they want way too much. The dating apps. I've been on these dating apps. I, I signed up for JDate, but for the, the free subscription. Um, I know. It's, maybe that's why I'm still single. Uh, yeah, we don't like to pay for shit that we can get for free. Just like hand jobs. What the fuck am I going to pay a hand job? I can fucking jack off. Happy endings are the worst waste of money in the fucking world. Blow job, sure. Pay for a blow job. Pay for sex. But do not pay for a hand job, guys. <laughs> I fucked my vacuum cleaner when I was 10 years old. So, I a fucking Hoover. I'm like playing with this thing. I stuck my thumb in it and it's like... Oh, wait. If that works... Yeah, no, true story. It worked. I fucking... Just coming in the vacuum, just straight in it. Yeah, I know. It's disgusting. The things we do... We're horny. Very horny. Uh, we don't have horns, like people think. Actual horns. Maybe that's where it came from. I wish, if we had horns, you would know, because we're in show business. We'd be like, I'm horny, I'm horny, these horny fucking Jews. I'm horny, I'm horny, we will replace you. Jews, Jews, Jews. Thanks, guys. My name is Evan Schaffer, and I appreciate you. Thanks for your time. Shepard, everybody.
everybody! A warm round of applause for him. Answering the question that we were all wondering, what would it look like if John Malkovich had fucked his vacuum cleaner? Uh, yes. I am thrilled to bring our next comic up onto the stage. It's his first time, to my knowledge, ever having done five at an open mic. Uh, although you might recognize him, recognize him as 